vegan gluten-free chocolate cookies that are gooey on the inside and crispy on the outside make for the perfect treat or afternoon snack with a hot drink. These chocolate cookies are great for people with allergies because they're gluten-free, dairy-free, egg-free and soy-free, which also makes them perfect for a school lunchbox. You can also bake them and keep them in your pantry for a few days to get your chocolate fix. The best part is you won't even notice that they're different from a normal chocolate cookie. So my fellow chocoholics, this one's for you. And as always, you can find the full breakdown of this recipe over on our website, which we'll link for you in the description. To get started, add all the wet ingredients to a large bowl. First, we will put in two tablespoons of maple syrup, followed by half a cup of neutral oil, one cup of coconut sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and a quarter cup of water. Mix it with a hand or electric whisk until it's well combined and the sugar has dissolved. If it's not fully blended, the oil can separate mid-baking. So now that we've mixed all of the wet ingredients, it's time to put in all of the dry ones. So we're gonna start off by using an all-purpose gluten-free flour mix. Now the one that I love the most is the one-to-one -one baking flour by Bob's Red Mill. This isn't sponsored by them, but I find that this one works the best because it has a higher rice flour content in it. You can, of course, use any other all-purpose flour, but I find that this one works really well for these cookies. So we will add one and three quarter cups of the flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of bicarb soda, half a teaspoon of salt, and a third cup of cocoa powder. This is best sifted in so you can avoid the lumps like I had to deal with myself. Now mix it just until it comes together so not to over mix it as we don't want flat cookies. So for this recipe, you can actually use both choc chips and block chocolate, but I'm using block chocolate. So the main difference is, is that choc chips are actually created to keep their shape even once they're baked. But with using block chocolate, you can chop it to whatever size that you want and you can create a little pool of melted chocolate with every single bite in your cookie. And that's exactly what we want to create. Another thing to consider is how sweet you want your cookies to be. I like them quite sweet, so I use a 55% chocolate, but if you want them less sweet, you can go for a darker chocolate, around 70% as well. Now we just need to chop up 100 grams of vegan chocolate and fold that into the cookie dough. I like to chop up small and larger pieces so that it varies a little bit with every single cookie. We're going to set the dough in the fridge for one hour. Don't skip the chilling time. It's important for the cookie to hold its shape and get the right texture. 15 minutes before we take the cookie dough out of the fridge, we need to preheat the oven to 180 degrees Celsius, which is 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Line a large couple of baking trays with parchment paper. Using just a normal spoon, scoop out some of the dough and roll it into a ball, placing it onto the tray. If you're using a large tray, you'll fit about six to eight cookies on there. I prefer the cookies to be a little bit thicker, but if you want them to be thinner, just push the dough down with the back of a spoon. They will spread a little, but not too much. Sprinkle a pinch of salt on each ball to balance out the sweetness. And now they're ready for the oven. So I'm going to bake the cookies for 18 minutes because I want them gooey on the inside and crispy on the outside. But if you like softer cookies, bake them for 16 minutes. If you have two trays in the oven at the same time, just make sure that you bake the one on the lower rack for a little bit longer. Leave them on the baking tray to cool completely. See just how easy these cookies are to make and with the decadent addition of chocolate chunks, these cookies are rich and fudgy. So next time you have a chocolate craving, I highly recommend that you give this recipe a try. I promise you that you won't be disappointed. Until next time, happy baking.